Baby. We need to talk. Okay. I need to know what we are doing. What do you mean? Where is this relationship going to? I don't get you. Baby. You already know that I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Then act it. How? Look, babe. If I'm to be the man of the house, I need to feel it. I need to feel it. I don't need you second guessing my actions. Babe, I'm, I'm sorry for the way you felt. It's just that I want both of us to make ends meet for the future. Especially the fact that we've agreed to start having kids. Babe, forget about the kids. We need to be okay first. I know, but first thing first. Look, babe. I'm not taking the job. I'm, I'm chasing the contract. And I know I'm going to get it. And trust me, when I get that contract, it's going to be massive. And if I get it, I'll pay you 20 times the salary your friend's company is proposing. I'm sorry for being too pushy. It's fine, babe. It's fine. So... Can I get your own key so that when next you come to the house, you don't need to start ringing the bell. You will just enter. This is your house. Hmm? Well, I'll think about it. Hmm. <laughs> it's fine. I'll get the keys. <laughs> Baby. I want you to know that you mean everything to me. All I'm doing is for us to succeed. I know, me too. I love you. I love you too. Come here. <laughs> okay, let me just go get the key. Because okay. I'm running late. Oh, oh yeah, right along. So one minute. <laughs> no problem. I'll wait for you here, okay? Okay, babe.
Hello? Good evening, Daddy. Oh, hello, Princess. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. Daddy, guess what? Guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what? Ah! You are getting married? Oh, Daddy, don't even go there. Ah, but you told me I should guess. Okay, let me help you. I'm coming to your house. You don't mean it, Princess. Come on, Daddy, I'm serious. Oh, come on. Elizabeth. Yes, Daddy. Don't joke with me. Daddy, I'm not joking with you. <laughs> but you've not been coming home. Oh, well. After accusing me last day of not spending enough time with you, I've decided to come spend my leave with you. Spend leave? Meaning one month you're going to be with me? My princess. Yes, Daddy. My one month from this moment is all yours. Oh, come on. I just can't believe this. So you will be with me. Oh, Lisbeth, I love you. I love you so much. I love you more, Daddy. Ah, I just can't wait. Just be quick. Come home. I'm waiting for you, okay? See you. Soon, soon. <laughs> Baby. Ah, I got company for one good month. Oh, <laughs> one full month. <laughs> ah, my daughter will soon be here. Been away for a very long time. Happiest man. Oh yes, I must get something nice for her. Some just dinner. Yes. Something good is gonna happen to me. Something good is gonna happen to me. Something good is gonna happen. Something so good is gonna happen to me. Daddy, I'm home. Hey, Daddy. Oh, my baby. Daddy, hey, I'm home. I know, I missed you so much too, so, so much. Oh, look at you, you've gotten so beautiful. Daddy, but I was home months ago, it's not been that long. Oh, well, for the fact that you'll be with me for one month, <laughs> makes me notice what I've not noticed in a while. <laughs> you know. I know, right, Daddy. Daddy, oh my God, I'm starving. Yes, of course, you will be starving. In fact, I prepared something very sumptuous to welcome you home. Oh, huh? Daddy! Oh. <laughs> ah. so let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, Daddy! <laughs> My daughter! Oh, Lizzie, sit down. Thank you, Daddy. Ah, Lizzie! Oh, that's nice. Ah. Hmm. Dad, it still amazes me how well you cook. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Ah, gosh. This. Mm. I love it. This food is so delicious, Daddy. Mm. <laughs> Enjoy your meal today. Tomorrow, the kitchen is all yours, okay? Oops. Mm. <coughs> Daddy, I just got an email to return to work urgently, so I'll be leaving tomorrow. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. Lizzie. Mm -hmm. So, Daddy, how is Betty the Queen? Don't be a silly child. Hmm? That woman nearly gave me a heart attack. <laughs> Daddy, she was simply loving you. Just that you're headstrong. Strong? <laughs> yeah. So how did you get her to stop calling you or coming? Anyway, I told her I got another woman pregnant. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She froze and uh, ever since then I've not seen her. <laughs> Dad, mm -hmm. is there any truth in that? Or 
Are you jokingly telling me something that you did that I need to know? <laughs> Daddy. You need to see your face. You need to see your face. God. It's your food. It's your food. I got you there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy the food. Of course I am, Daddy. You're going to do something about it, just do it. But I really want to do it, it's just that I don't have the money, my client is here to pay. Then what am I going to do about the promises I made? Felix, I'm sorry now, you know I will do anything for you. Listen, things are really difficult for me right now. My rent is even due. Babe, are you saying these things actually make me feel guilty? I wasn't the one who made these promises, you know. You were the one. Yes, I, I know I made the promises. And no, I'm not trying to make you feel guilty. It's just that right now I need money more than anything. I don't have it. Besides, you know me too. I'm not the type that will have money and hold it. Please just try and understand me. Well, I have to go. Okay, then I will meet you up at home. No, I'll be at my apartment. Ah, uh, Felix! Babe, I'll be at my apartment. Uh, wait, wait, now. Dad, yeah. where have you been? You're making us have dinner late. Anyway. What's wrong? Uh, nothing. Just in one of those moods. Uh. Something would have been responsible. No, nothing, nothing. 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 Dad? Please, I'm fine. I'm okay. Come on. Okay. Let me get dinner. All right. That man, they go find that guy for office. Ha <laughs> ha! This old man again. You don't, you don't tire himself. This man, you don't say no old. You should say no. Just they shake. You don't tire me. This man will just leave me. He was come here, come to find me up and down. 
Where we say we see yourself, we know they find babies like this. It's just a stand like say they find something we lost. But I know be my okay. I mean, I know like Daniel say big. Yeah, it's yeah. okay now. So but so no more reach that guy Sarah. So saying good day by this time. Oh go. Oh, I'm, not, guy, man. I'm not tired for the this man. This 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 old man. I'm not tired. I'm we can't eat him with that self. Every time, every time I go to do this kind of thing. Ah. No wow. I'm not tired for him. Good morning, Dad. Good morning. What's going on? Why this long drawn face? Where are you coming from? Oh, I met up with a few friends. Why? Within the estate? Oh, yes. Within and outside. Is it possible that the friends you saw or went to see is a woman? <laughs> Elise, <laughs> you want to start seeing me with a woman, isn't it? First you joked about Betty, and now this. Daddy, I'm not even joking. I saw you. you saw me where? Stalking a woman. Stalking? I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. Your face tells me that you do. And apparently, you've been stalking her for long. Oh. I don't know what you're saying. Daddy, the street guys were talking about you. I was standing beside your car when I saw you walk up to her door. I was just talking. Uh, I just stopped by to see if it was possible for me to just say hello to her. And Dad, you tend to do that a lot. That is talking. Come on, please. Don't talk to your dad as if your dad is stupid. Daddy, that is not what I'm trying to say. All I'm saying is that what you're doing does not put you in a good light. The street guys already think that you're a psycho. I didn't know anybody noticed me. Oh, well, they did. Daddy, why don't you just walk in there and say hi to whoever that is? She is in a relationship. So? What do you mean by so? I cannot compete with that guy. Yes, he is young and very good looking as well. Dad, are you trying to tell me that you're in love with this woman? Oh, come on. Love is a big word. That sitting outside of her office day in, day out is a big deal. Please, I like her. I really do. Oh. Dad, um, can we sit and talk? Daddy. Yeah. I know how lonely it is for you here. Being here all by yourself. Please. This has got nothing to do with being lonely. You know, I must confess, she's an incredible lady. Yeah. And she's the type of person that I would have love to be with if I were younger. Yes. Daddy. Daddy, why do you keep thinking that you're old? <laughs> you're just 52. And you can get any woman that you want. But not by stalking. Oh. 
Miss, I'm sorry. I won't go there again. I promise you. I'm not going there again. Okay, Daddy. I love you, okay? I love you so much. Thanks so much. Thanks. Dad, yes. I, thought, I thought I was supposed to make dinner. Well, I've made it. Dad? Come on, Liz. I'm fine. I'm a grown man. Huh? And I'm fully aware that no one ever gets everything that he or she wants. Okay? I'm okay, and I'll be okay. Are you hungry? Oh yes, and I have a delicious meal before me. Mm. Mm -hmm. What, babe? Can we talk? What is it? There's something I really want us to talk about. It's really been disturbing me. What is it? I feel you don't trust me. Babe, why would you say such a thing? You asked me for money. I told you I don't have money. You became angry. And then when I later got the money, I sent it to you. All of a sudden, you became happy with me again. Babe, babe, hold on, babe. Are you insinuating I'm here with you because of your money? That's not what I'm saying. All I'm saying is that you should just know that I cannot deny you of anything. I care about you so much. I want the best for you. I love you. Look, babe, I love you too, okay? And I care about you so much. I was just under pressure, all right? I'm so sorry for making you feel like I don't trust you. Okay? It's now fine. just cheer up. It's fine. Can I have my meal now? Not yet ready. No, 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 no. you can't do that to me, of course. <laughs>
Hello? 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 Um, hi, good morning. Good morning. Sorry I didn't see the receptionist. Oh, we don't have a receptionist for now. What can I do for you? I need a job. I'm so sorry. We are not hiring for now. Else we would have started by employing a receptionist. Ma'am, please. I really need this job. Is this your CV? Yes, it is. Why do you want to work here? I heard you guys are into a blend of um, real estate and interior decor. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. But for now, we're only consulting. As you can see, we are pretty new and practically empty. Ma, look, that's the reason why I would love to work here. I will add value to you. All I'm saying is that I cannot afford to pay anyone for now. I'm sorry. Um, what if I work for free for one month? I don't understand. What's so special? I mean, why is this place so attractive to you? Why would you want to work here for free one month? Besides, you're way overqualified to work here. Ma'am, please. I'm trying to do this for my dad. He wanted me to work with his real estate firm years ago, but I refused. And after some time, he shut it down. Oh. So, you're feeling guilty? Yes. I really want to do this for him. But, well, are you sure you really want to work for us for free? For one month? Yes. <sighs> Sincerely, I need a marketer. And your CV says that you have three masters and one of them is in marketing. Ma, I can start immediately. I can even cover up for the receptionist. Oh, that's fine. In that case, you have the work. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's fine. You can start immediately. We close by 6 p.m. But if you live very far from here, you can close by 5 p.m. No, 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 no. I live within the estate. Okay, then I'll just put you through with what we are doing here. Give me a sec. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. oh. Hey, Daddy! Yes, <laughs> my princess. Mm. Mm. Ah. How have you been, Daddy? How oh, good. Look at you. <laughs> Why are you coming from all dressed up like this? Oh, Daddy, I'm trying to see what I can do for fun in the next one month. Oh, I see. Hmm. Clearly shows that uh, you are really a workaholic. The concept of holiday is uh, alien to you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, did you find something? Yes, I did. Ah! So tell me, what was it? I'm not telling you. Oh. Well, okay, fine with me. Only if what you found will make you happy. Yes, this one makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then come on, sit down with me. Um, no, Daddy, I need to go freshen up. I'll be with you later, okay? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. See you so, later. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Sorry, who are you? I'm Elizabeth. I work here. Hmm, since when? Recently. 
So how may I be of help to you, please? I came to see Nora. I would like to know how I could afford you. Sir, so, sorry, are you my boss's business partner? No, I'm just a friend. Okay, she's not on seat now. It's fine. She knows me, she wouldn't mind, okay? Welcome, welcome. Thank you, Daddy. Mm. Well, Daddy, you're busy. Oh, yes, I am. I am busy. What are you writing? I'm writing a book. What? Uh, Daddy, you're writing a book? Yes. You've never talked about writing a book. Oh, yes, I'm doing it now. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Is this the title of the book? Oh, yes. A working title. So precious yet far away. Exactly. Yes. What kind of a title is this? What kind of question is that? The title sounds like a very sad love story. My princess, just go, 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 go and get something to eat and leave me alone. Let me concentrate. Go, 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 oh, go, go. Okay, go. sorry, sorry. Do sorry. I question sorry. you when you wear things, your dress nice like this going out? Do I question you? Uh, go, go. Let me concentrate. Daddy, it's okay. Sorry. I'm going to let you be, okay? All right. Have Just, fun writing your book. <laughs> uh, I'm even beginning to get lost. I don't need you talking to me like that. How am I talking to you? I told you that she's working for free, but you don't believe me. How am I supposed to believe that that babe is working here for free? So what do you want me to say, since you can't believe me? Just say sorry and stop being a liar. Felix, please, can you just go home? Talk about this when I get home. Wait, oh, you think I don't know if I try to sell a piece of land and decide to give me some more money so you distract me? Are you serious? I took a loan to give you the money that I promised you just to make you happy. And here you are saying what you're saying. Why are you doing this? Look. No, all right. I'm sorry to interrupt. I was standing by the door. Felix, I need to get back to work. Yeah, whatever. Oh, please, 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 just go, go, please. Just go. Hey, beautiful. Hi. Hi. So basically, I was waiting for you. I was wondering if I could drop you off. Thank you. I would rather walk. Oh, no, come on. It's just a ride. What exactly are you trying to do? Trying to be nice to a pretty lady. For what? Well, you're a beautiful lady, and I would love to know you more. Like, you know, my boss? Well, let's say better. Your boss wants something for me she can't get, but you can have it. Oh, <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> but you know what, yeah? Stay the hell away from me! But, you know, without me, we wouldn't have gotten that job, right? So why don't we just be kind to each other? You think I'm really that kind of babe? <laughs> you are a joker. Why don't I get your boss to fire you or we could just be friends?
Lisbeth, drop those, drop those. Oh. I don't want to hear anything about the book. Come on, Daddy. I love what I read. Are you serious? Yeah. I can see here that your main character name is Noella. Yes. Uh, is, it, is it too long? Or can it be Nora? No, no, it's, it's okay. Um, you said here that the love of her life is always following her about and he does not have eyes for another woman. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you also said that um, she has someone that loves her so much that always looks out for her, but she would never know about. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yes. So, who actually is the love of her life? The one she is dating as of now. Why not the one she does not know about? No, not that one, not that one. So, okay. So what if the one she's dating now is a fool? Why do you want me to make him the fool? I'm not saying you should make him a fool. Mm -hmm. He is already a fool. Just that Noella does not know about his foolishness. Mm. Meaning he's not worthy of Noella? Yes. So the one that she doesn't know of yet should be the love of her life? Exactly. That's the perfect plot twist. Now, you need to connect how they will meet. Oh. All right. That I can work on. But uh, I'm exhausted for now. Daddy can do that tomorrow. Ah, yes. I can do that. But, please, why the sudden interest in my book? Daddy, mm -hmm. that's because I want you to express yourself however you want. All right. Thank you so much, my dear. <laughs> You're welcome, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I love you. I love you so much, too, my dear. <laughs> love you. Look. Get something for yourself in the kitchen. I'll dish out something there for you. Oh, okay, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hurry up. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. My super duper chef. <laughs> right. Hello. Please, can I sit with you for just 10 minutes? I really need your help. I don't even mind coming to your office right away. Okay, what restaurant? Oh, the one at the estate gate. That's fine, I'll be there immediately. All right, see ya. Bye. Elizabeth. Yes, Miss Nora. I'm so sorry for yesterday. Oh, it's fine. No, it's not. You showed me care and I ignored you. Felix can be so annoying when he's upset. And that really gets to me. I understand. Okay, I'm going for lunch meeting. What about you? Um, I'll be having lunch with my dad, so I'll, I'll soon go meet him. Your dad? Yes, yes. Say me hi to him. I will. Thank you. See you later. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay.
Hey. Hello, Dad. Hey. So, where on earth are you? Dad, I'm at work. What? Which work? Daddy, please, yeah. There's something I need to tell you. But I need you to meet me at a restaurant immediately. No, I don't understand, please. I'm here working on my book, trying to figure out how uh, Nuela will meet the love of her life. Meantime, I have writer's block for hours now. And you are telling me to wait? I, I don't understand. Daddy, listen, listen. You cannot finish that book without a research. And there's an angle to the story that I need you to know about, but I'll only tell you when I see you at a restaurant. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Which restaurant are we talking about here? Um, the one by the gate. Oh yes, I know that place. Quite a nice place. Great. All right, but back to the point. Uh, the, what, what do you mean by, you know, you are, you, you are at work or something like that? Daddy, I said I will tell you when I see you. Oh. Oh, anyway. I'll wait for you. Um, but Daddy, one more thing. Please, I want you to dress very well. I mean, dress young. I don't understand, please. What's going on? Daddy, you're asking too many questions. You're my date and I don't want you to look like I'm having lunch with my father. Well, I know that's exactly what it is. Oh gosh, Daddy, can you just stop talking and go there? <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, I'm at your service. So, how long am I going to wait? Ten minutes top. You know, I really don't like waiting or being outside all by myself. You know that. All right, if you say ten minutes, that's fine with me. Okay, Daddy. See ya. I'll be there. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> all right, see you. Bye. What's all this? So, if I would be able to pay back the loan in six months' time, I would really appreciate it. Nora, I swear, I never believed you are still single. Yes. Mr. Lawrence, please. Can we focus on the reason we are here? You are still very beautiful, I must confess. Okay. I really, really want to help you. But the repayment structure says three months. That's why I'm asking for six months. That would help me to be able to pay my rent, employ more staff, and I will go all out for my clients. Please, I really need this loan. Please, help me. Please. I understand. Uh, since you are around, I, I need to book an appointment with, uh, with you in a more private and secluded place. Huh? Come on. Hello, Daddy. Oh, my princess. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Daddy, oh. you look so handsome. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> anyway, do you mind telling me what I'm doing here? Daddy, I mean, you're here to have lunch with your only child. And I have a confession. Well, I'm all yes. Because I didn't... Uh, understand what you meant by you are at work. Okay, Daddy. Um, I know the lady you were stalking. No, I was just stalking. Okay. I was just trying to say hello to her. All right. I know the lady you were trying to say hello to. Uh -huh. You were not stalking, yeah. Uh -huh. I know her name is Nora. How do you know that? 
that I work for her. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, so I went to her and I volunteered to work for her. Why? Why did you do that? Daddy, I wanted to get to know her. For what? Um, I didn't think it through at first, but now I know why. Why? Daddy, I wanted to know if she would be good enough for you. Miss Ben. Dad, look. I know she's the Noella in your story. I don't know what you're talking about. Amazing man, but she doesn't know that. She is in a relationship with a fool, and she didn't know about his foolishness. Yes, and and how did you know about his foolishness? That he tried to hit on me. Hit after embarrassing Nora. Hit on you. Ugh. So he's not only foolish, but he's also a madman. You see what I'm saying? Oh. Dad, she's coming, she's coming. Ooh. Miss Nora, look, Daddy, do not turn, don't turn. You know, be your charming self. Elizabeth. You know. Oh, hi, Miss Nora. Hi. hi. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know it was you. Um, yeah, I came for the lunch I told you my dad called for. Oh. Um, okay. meet my dad. Oh. Miss Nora. Daddy? This is my boss, Miss Nora. Meet my daddy. Uh, Good day, sir. Good day. Nice to meet you. I never would have imagined you this young. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. A nice meeting you. Oh, but you see, the thing is, uh, I am not uh, her biological father. <laughs> I actually kidnapped her from uh, her real father. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is by the way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for hiring her. Eh? Mm. I'm glad she walked through my door. <sighs> Have a nice day, sir. Elizabeth. Uh, Alright, see you later. Okay, yeah, see ya. <laughs> <sighs> Daddy, are you okay? No, oh, yes, I'm okay. I'm just uh, I feel like going home to sleep. I feel dozy dozy. <laughs> <laughs> So you feel that good? Uh, I think so. I think so. Hmm. <laughs> Lisbeth. <laughs> oh, I see. So, what does she do? Um, she's into a blend of real estate and interior decoration. I told her I wanted to work with her because of your real estate dreams. Oh, Lisbeth, is that really true? No. Daddy, I know you were into real estate and all, but that does not concern me. I only decided to work for her just to check her out for you. <laughs> anyway. So, Daddy. It's good to hear, it's good to hear though. It's so, so, Daddy, what are but, we having? Oh, well, anything, Lord. anything, anything. Hello, Daddy's girl. <laughs> <laughs> and the way your dad is good looking. Oh, you're just being nice. No, I'm truthful. Thank you. <laughs> um, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, I need your help. Anything? I, I want you to help me speak with your dad. Please get a seat from my office. Okay. Bruce. Oh, ouch. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, why are you smiling? I mean, the way you're making it look like it's something serious. I don't even know. It's just that. 
he doesn't even know me yet i'm about to ask for a favor from him a favor yeah the man i had lunch meeting with he happens to be an old friend he manages one of those microfinance banks i thought i could get a loan from him well i discovered that going for that meeting was a total mess um so you want my dad to give you a loan no i want him to help me with the connections of those clients he managed their properties oh okay i'll talk to him when i get home but my dad might not want to come here he might want you to come to the house because he's not um he does not really like formal settings so he might want to talk to you over dinner or something that's fine I don't even mind as it stands now. I'm grateful. That would really help me because I need to pay the rent of this place in three weeks. Else, I'll be kicked out. <laughs> it's okay. I'll talk to him as soon as I get home. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> so, back to my office. <laughs> you can finish up the work. All right, man. Okay. All right. Ouch. Yep. Are you going to? <laughs> Hi, my <Ooh>. princess. <laughs> Daddy. Good evening. Good evening. Mm -hmm. oh, you look so tired. I'm sure you had a very busy day. Oh, Daddy, I'm exhausted. Oh. Something smells nice. Oh, yes, I prepared what? your favorite. Yes. You did? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my girl, yes. Daddy. Hi, baby. Okay, now, mm -hmm. you know, this food is for bringing her close to you. Uh -huh. I need you to prepare your will, giving me everything because of what I'm about to say. Uh, you're my only daughter. What do you think my will will say? Daddy, I want it now. Now that you're still alive. Elizabeth, you're a criminal. <laughs> you're a thief. <laughs> oh, Daddy. So, what are you about to say? Okay. How did you know Nora? Why this question? Daddy, I want to confirm something. Well, I was invited for a conference and I had her speak. And? Mm. See, she was so amazing, so beautiful and smart. And uh, I can remember she gave a speech and at the end of the speech, she mentioned her company and gave her company address and invited anyone who wants to freely walk in. Okay, so you found the place and you couldn't walk in? Well, I got to the door and I couldn't knock. Why? Interestingly enough, Elizabeth, I have not done this for a very long time. In fact, I didn't know where to start. I was lost with words. didn't know what to do. But, my princess, I have not stopped thinking about this lady since then. <sighs> okay, Daddy. So, Nora is coming here tomorrow. What? Yeah, she's coming for dinner. You invited her 
No. And she agreed? No, Daddy, you invited her and she agreed. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> don't believe us. Really? Daddy, for real. Wait, hold on. Just a minute. These bits. <sighs> Hi, Elizabeth. Hi, ma'am. Have you been able to speak with him? Um, yes. But he's, um, he's kind of busy right now. But he'll see you tomorrow by 7 p.m. Oh my god. I'm so grateful. Did you tell him why I want to see him? Um, not really. But I think it's better you tell him yourself. But I told him you needed, um, support with whatever real estate connection he has. That is pretty much everything. Thank you so, so much. You're well, you're welcome. Um, so see you tomorrow at 7. I'll, I'll send you the address. Okay, thanks. Alright, bye. See ya. Lizzie. I told you, daddy. <laughs> you. <laughs> <Not a dog>. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming. 7 p.m tomorrow daddy <laughs> oh. I was upset I was trying to explain something to you but you wouldn't listen are you still angry no why do you keep doubting me? I'm tired of explaining myself over and over again. I'm sorry. It's fine, but why do you keep doubting my love for you? Babe, I'm not doubting you. I'm not, see, I'm not doubting you. The thing is, I'm trying so hard here to succeed. And I need to make you proud. I'm proud of you no matter the state you're in. I know you're making efforts. That's enough for me. Are you sure? Pretty sure. But well, sometimes you make me feel like I'm here for the money. No. You're not. So you won't feel like that even if I ask for a little money? No, I won't. But the thing is, I don't have money right now. But there's this microfinance bank. I want to take a loan from them. But, I don't know if it's going to work out or not. When do you expect to hear from them? In a day or two. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Okay. Thank you for allowing me to be vulnerable with you. Um, thank you for being vulnerable. <laughs> now, let me take you inside and give you a cool shower, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Daddy! Oh, my princess. You're back from work? Yes, Daddy. Uh-huh. Daddy, where are you off to? Getting ready for the dinner. Dressed like you're about to step into a corporate meeting with Dangote. So this is too much? Extremely, Daddy. Daddy, you need to relax. I'm relaxed. No, you're not. She's coming to you. There's a level of playing field here. He needs to wear a nice casual, be handsome and homely. Is that all? Yeah. Just be friendly and see if there's any way you can help her. Of course, I really want to help her. Then do it. Don't make her uncomfortable by being too prepared. Okay, okay. I hear. I'll do that. Alright, so it's time to get the table ready. I'll help you. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Um. 
daddy, 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 daddy. She's here. She's here, she's here. She, she is, she's here. <laughs> daddy, go inside and come out when you should. Huh? She's here. Go inside and come out when you should, daddy. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. You look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, um, the dining table is set for us. Wow, amazing. Come yeah. in, please. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let me go get my dad. He was in a meeting a short while ago. Oh, I'm sorry for invading his time. No, 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 it's okay. I mean, he doesn't have a problem with it. Okay. Yeah, so as I told you, 75%, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind. Of course, we are good friends, and uh, as friends, we need to help each other, isn't it? <laughs> that's brotherhood. Uh, brotherhood. Well, okay, uh, let's continue this conversation later. I'll call you tomorrow, later. Hmm, all right then. Bye. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mrs. Daddy, not Mrs. Miss Nora. Oh, Miss Nora. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, sir. Ah, so. Let's eat. <laughs> sit, sit. <sighs> So that, uh, like I already told you, we need your help. Yes, ma'am. We need your help. Yeah. I'll offer my help as much as I can. Um, Elizabeth told me that you had a real estate company. Yes. I did have. Um, so, why did you shut down? Mm. I had a couple of successful businesses at that time. And I, I couldn't juggle all of them together. So I shut it down. Meanwhile, Elizabeth here also wanted something else as at that time, so I needed, I needed to shut it down. Um. Sir, please, do you still have the contact of those people you managed to mm. practice? Mm. Yes, yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I have one of them who recently acquired new residential properties in prime locations. I think I'll, I can speak to him so that uh, he gives you the properties to manage exclusively. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're most welcome. Mm. And uh, so, 
How long have you been doing this business? Two years. Two years? That's, that's not too long ago, isn't it? We're still babies in this business. <laughs> <laughs> babies, so <laughs> how are the babies coping? <laughs> well, I must confess, it has really been a tough one. I used my life savings to start up this company. I've always lost the idea of having my own business while working with an insurance company. You see. So why did you leave the insurance company? I resigned because I couldn't meet up with their task. I worked with them for 12 years and then I was later transferred to manage one of their companies. I worked there for five years. Later they had finance issue and they told me that it's either I resign or they will take one third of my salary. So I had to resign. One third? Wow. Yes, sir. Well, Laura, uh, I think you better start getting used to uh, calling me Edward. Because, uh, sir, you need to cut it short. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it makes me feel more comfortable. You should call me Edward. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, Edward. <laughs> That's good. Sounds better. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. I was telling Elizabeth that you look younger than your age. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth. So how old do you think I am? For you to have someone like Elizabeth, you should be in your sixties, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fifty-two. Wow. Mm -hmm. how, how did you do that? Well, I had Elizabeth at a very young age. Oh my God, that explains it. I think I'm the older one here. <laughs> how old are you? 42. Well, that makes no difference. You know, when, when it comes to age, you know, not as much uh, younger. I'm older than you still, isn't it? Well, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, since we're revealing a lot about my dad, my dad has never been married. What? Uh, Liz, I think that's a bit of too much information. Sorry. <laughs> well, I have never been married to. Ah, what's wrong with men of these days? Where have they been looking? Well, I don't think it's late. That is if you have the time to date someone. Actually, I'm in a relationship. I don't we. Really we're not perfect, but we try to get along. Why are you not perfect? Because he thinks I'm older than him. Mm. It's just the age difference. And he's just 37. That's not much difference in age. But do you love him? So, what about you? Are you in a relationship? Mm. Yes, I'm in a relationship. I'm in a long distant relationship. <clears throat> so, where is she? Um, Namibia. <coughs> Okay. Um, I need to send an urgent email. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Namibia, yeah, Namibia. <laughs> this food is delicious. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Namibia. Yeah. You want some more? I'm fine. Thank you. Your father just came through for us. He just sent me his friend's number. Is it one that has some residential properties? Yes. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is great. Okay, so what do we do? Do we start calling or to start pitching or what? <laughs> no, he just got a block of flats for us. So all I need to do right now is to call the man and go do some signing. So oh my God, congratulations. <laughs> To us. All to us. <laughs> oh, oh. I have to leave you right now, so I need to go sign some agreement. <laughs> See you later. All right. <laughs> Huh. Oh, hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. My beautiful Lizzie, I'm missing you so much here. Yeah. That was work. I oh. missed you too. What was good? Uh -huh. How have you been? Well, cool. Ah, Daddy, mm. thank you. What have I done this time? Do I deserve any thank you? <laughs> Why? Thank you. Daddy, you know what you did? <laughs> okay. All right, I know. I know. <laughs> Dad, she was so, so happy. Oh. She was happy. She was? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm sure she will take good care of the properties. Yeah, I'm sure she will. Mm. But Daddy, mm -hmm. seriously, mm -hmm. Namibia, long distance relationship, Oh, Dad, oh. I couldn't get my mind off it last night. My princess, my princess, stop it. <laughs> Why do you want to embarrass Daddy now? <gasps> Daddy. Uh, no, 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 stop, 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 stop. Stop. Dinner? Yeah, sure, dinner. Oh, then go upstairs and freshen up yourself. I'll prepare dinner in a jiffy. Hmm? Okay, Daddy. Go, 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 All go, right, go, go, thank go, you. go, go, go. Uh, See you go. later, Daddy. This shows that you have 24 hours to pay your rent or move out. How am I supposed to pay? Where am I supposed to get the money from in 24 hours? I thought she said they gave you a few weeks. The landlord gave me two weeks, only for him to call me this morning and he said he has someone else to take this place for a higher price. Wow. So they practically want to chase you away? I know I'm new in this business, but they're just trying to make everything so hard for me. Um. Excuse me. Where are you going? I'm trying to see if I can get someone to rent the block of flats that we just got. We're not just talking about a block of flats, we're talking about three. Okay then, three it is. Can you actually get that? Never say never. We can try. Okay? Uh, 
Hey, Lindsay. That What's wrong? That I need your help. What's wrong? Nora has 24 hours to pay her office rent or move out. So, you want me to loan her the money? No, Daddy. I want you to rent the three units of the block of flats she's managing. What? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Dad. That's millions we're talking about here. Dad, but we can sublet the place later and get back your money. Did you tell her you came to me? No. Hmm. Didn't. Hmm. That's good. You know, I don't want her to get close to me because she thinks uh, I can help her, all right? I'll get one of my companies to rent it. Hmm. Now? Yeah, now. Okay, Daddy. So I'll tell her um, you helped us get a company to rent the spaces. Oh, all right, all right. Just, just send me the details. Mm. Okay, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Give me 20 minutes. I'll get back to you. That's fine. All right, thanks. <laughs> oh, Nora. Nora. You're back so fast. Yeah. Um, how's your agreement with the landlord? I mean, how is payment supposed to be made? Wait, wait, wait. Did you get someone? Yes, I got a company. A company? Yes. <laughs> um, but we're supposed to sublet the place for them and they'll give us time to pay. So, um, I just want to know how payment is supposed to be made. Okay, once I get the money, I will transfer immediately to the landlord. That's our initial agreement with your dad. Um, can I have the account details? Um, the company will be taking three units. What? Oh my God! <laughs> right away! <laughs> My hands are shaking right now. Elizabeth, how did you do this? I called in for favors and my dad was able to help convince the company. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. um, can I go? You mean like home? Of course. I'm overwhelmed already. Like, I just need to go take a nap. Sure, you can. You will just lock up when you're done. Yeah. Once I get the alert, we'll make every necessary payment first thing tomorrow morning. Cool. So I get my bag already. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I'm coming. Coming. Oh, Nora. Hi, Mr. Edward. Sorry, Edward. <laughs> I had come to thank you. For what? Um, excuse me. <gasps> oh my God! What is it? The company just paid! <laughs> oh. Please, can I sit inside? Oh, come on, come in. Make yourself comfortable. 
Okay. Come, come, come. Thank you. <laughs> Sit down. Sit Yeah. Make yourself oh. comfortable. Thank you so much. Yeah. Right. Thank you once again. Well, you're welcome. Okay. Elizabeth has saved me and my company, and you helped. Uh, oh, the phone call. Well, she asked me to, and uh, I did. <laughs> At least you helped me to convince the company, and they just paid for three blocks of flats. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so happy. At least I can pay for my rent now. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm equally happy for you, too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to thank me. I don't know what I've done to deserve it. Thank you. Oh, anyway, you're welcome. Hey, baby. Felix. Why are you surprised seeing me? Because I've not seen you in a few days. Oh, baby, I've been running up and down. You know, concerning the contract I told you about. By the way, did the microfinance bank come through? No, they didn't. Oh, wow. So, um, that means you don't have the money? I don't have. Why did you answer like that? Like how? It took you so long to answer. Why is it that all we discuss in this relationship is all about money, money, money? I knew it. I, I, I just knew it. Wait, you think I'm here because of your money? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. So what are you saying? All I'm saying is that I don't have money. I'm working so hard. You're making it look like I'm, I'm not doing anything. I know it looks like I have money, but truly, I don't have any money on me right now. I'm seriously building something. And you feel I'm here to scatter it? Not exactly. Well, you may as well just see it. That's typical. What is? You walking in and walking out. Well? You can as well watch me walk out and never come back. Goodbye, Nora. Hello, Miss Nora. Hi, Elizabeth. Are you okay? I'm fine. Uh, I won't be coming to the office today. Uh, we'll just do all the bank transactions from the house. But your voice does not sound okay. That's true. Felice broke up with me last night. Aww. So sorry. It's fine. 
Oh. I'll just do all the transactions later. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? You too. Hello, Dad. Um, Daddy, please call Miss Nora. Her boyfriend just broke up with her. Daddy, to not look somehow, just call her. Call her, yeah, yeah. Okay. Who is this? Ah, Nora. This is Edward. Hi, hi, Edward. Good morning. Good morning. So, how's everything? Are you okay? Of course, everything is fine. Hmm. So, is it possible you? Uh, you were lying. Guess Elizabeth told you. Oh, yes. She told me. She tells me everything. We keep no secrets. I see. Mm. So, can I make a confession, my dear? Sure. <laughs> I have never been to Namibia. I don't know anybody in Namibia. Talk less of even staying in Namibia. Your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I lied. I lied. What? Yeah. You see, I was trying to sound like uh, I have something going on in my life. Uh, it was because of the way you made me feel. One thing about your personality, it's so exciting and so warm and that I didn't want to seem boring, you know. You're not boring. Oh, really? I see. So if that's the case, uh, can I use that opportunity to invite you for dinner? Mm? You know, you just can't stay at home just like that all day thinking about him. Okay. Yeah? All right. I'll send you the address in time. All right, that's fine. Oh, thank you so much. See you then. Bye. All right, see ya. Yeah, yeah, everything went perfectly well, yeah. So how have you been? You good? Oh, please? Sorry, let me call you back. 
daddy. Yes. Oh my gosh, look at you. You look good. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy, where are you off to? I'm going for dinner. Daddy, uh -huh. you now do things without letting me know. Oh, this is a decision I took on the spot. Quite impromptu. Hmm? All right, Daddy. So you go have fun, okay? And give me the details when you're back. Of course. <laughs> I'm going to have fun. The <laughs> dog! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Daddy. I'll see you. All right. See ya. <laughs> cool. Hi. Hello. Seems you've not been here for long. Yeah. Mm. So how are you? Better. At least I feel better than lying on my sofa. Mm -hmm. Thanks for inviting me out. Oh, it's my pleasure. Mm -hmm. And thank you for honoring my invitation. You're welcome to I renewed my office rent this morning, oh. all thanks to you. You're most welcome. <laughs> In fact, I'm glad I was of help. <laughs> yes. Anyway, should we order? Yes, but before we do that, there's something that has been playing over and over again in my head. Mm. All right, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to ask why you've not attempted marriage so far. <laughs> oh. You see, raising Elizabeth had a toll on me. When Elizabeth was born, okay. um, my father was very, very disappointed. Very disappointed. In fact, because of that, he forced me to raise Elizabeth all by myself. You see. And the year after Elizabeth's birth, the mother of Elizabeth moved on. So she got stuck with me. Apparently, I was taught how to birth and feed. Your mom? She supported my father. You see, they had big plans for me. But all they could see was this young girl pregnant for me. Both of us were very young. Very young. So it really shattered their world so much. So much that uh, my father forced me to apparently enjoy the consequences of my action, you see. Anyway, the girls that uh, I liked at that time too wouldn't uh, want to go through the burden of Elizabeth, so they also didn't uh, like to have any relationship with me. So I shut down my mind on relationship. Hmm. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. You see that girl, Elizabeth? She's my everything. Everything. She is. That lady is a nice person. She is the reason I am able to move on with this whole Felix thing. And she has helped my work to move further. You love him? I did. But after crying all through the night to your morning, I realized that I have been the one managing the relationship. He acts like he doesn't care. He wants me to do what he wants me to do. He feels like he's doing me a favor being with me. Is he not? 
How many ladies are like you? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the compliment. You're most welcome. But I just don't understand why, knowing this very well, you should stay with him for all this long. It's not easy for someone my age to be alone. Oh. <laughs> what about me? Yes, it's even better. You have Elizabeth in your life. But for me, I don't have anyone. Not even anyone close to me. Why, why are you smiling? Well, you don't have to beg anybody to be with you. You know, you don't know how much or the extent some people would like to go just to have you for themselves. You got it? <laughs> huh? Thank you. Yeah. All right. Should we order now? Yes. Hmm? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Waitress. Let's have a, you want this? I want this. Okay, let's have the love rice. And I like to have stir fried rice. And then the sauce, mm, curry sauce, all right. And add a bottle of wine, red wine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so, it sometimes can be very difficult when you get into a relationship. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ms. Nara. <laughs> I, I know you're wondering why I resumed late. Yes, I did wonder. Well, blame it on your dad. What did he do? <laughs> we had this long talk last night before and after meal. And then he gave me a bottle of wine. I can't even believe it that I finished all of that alone. Oh. And when I got home, I slept like I never slept before. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder you look well rested. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I rested. You will not believe that our new client recommended me to three of his friends with new practice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you already know that we rented three units? Exactly. Yes. So all we have to do now is to get to work and start advertising immediately. Okay, I will be sending you some templates that I've designed and I also have um, some folders filled with marketing materials for run homes okay. that I'll be sending to you as well. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> have it in my office. All right, all right. Tra la 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 la, tra la 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 la, see me. I'm in love. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. Tra la 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 la. See, I'm in love. See me, see me, see me. See me, see me, see me. La la. See me, see me, see me. Oh, Lizzie. Good evening. My princess. How is it? You back from work? Yeah, daddy. How was work? Good. Good. Lovely. Oh, uh, um, that is what's going on. Ah, uh, well, guess what? Nora is coming. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't mention it. Well, it must have skipped her memory. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, <clears throat> Daddy, I don't need to know the details of what's going on between you two as long as you are happy. Mm, of course, I am happy, and I really like her. <laughs> <laughs> I see you more than like her, Daddy. You stalk her. Daddy, let me ask you to do your thing, okay? Okay, all right. Have all fun, right. lover boy. All right, okay, okay. I'll all see right, you later. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> -la 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 -la. okay, what next? Um, 
Elizabeth, tell me the truth. Do I really act like a teenager? <laughs> yes, of course you do. But it's sweet. It's him. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi, sugar. Hello, Candy. <laughs> Hi, Candy. Hi. Oh. Oh. oh, baby. Seems you've gotten more beautiful this morning. <laughs> uh, I'm amazed at myself. Oh, in fact, you're so beautiful. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, please, oh. I'm working. I know, I know, I know. Well, I've got something for you both. That's for you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Daddy. And that's yours, my dear. Thanks, baby. Yes. Let's go inside. All right. ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's too late to find love. Oh, it's never too late to find love. Never too late. It's never too late to find love. Just follow your heart. Never too late to find love. Never, 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 never. It's never too late to find love. It's been four weeks and four days. Been thinking about you. Don't know what to do. Da 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 da. It's been four days and four weeks. Thinking about you. Don't know. What Hi, to handsome. Do. Very well. I'm thinking of surprising you tomorrow. I really can't tell for now. Why don't you just wait? Tomorrow is not far. <laughs> Alright, darling. Never too late to find love. It's never too late See ya. to find love. Oh, Bye. I just want you to brace up. I just want you to brace up. This time keep it rolling. Listen to your heartbeat. Follow the path to find love. It's never too late to find love. It's never too late to find love. Good morning. Good morning, Nora. Ah, look at you. Mm. Mm. Oh. Hmm, see. Oh, you made breakfast. I told you I was going to surprise you. Oh, what a pleasure. Oh, I remember. What a surprise. <laughs> oh, so, but who let you in? Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Hey, I heard my name. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Ooh. So I see mom made us breakfast. Yes. <laughs> mom? Yeah. I mean, you've been dating my dad for some weeks now. So, you are qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you a question? Oh, yes, my dear. Go ahead. Is Elizabeth's mom someone in your life? Oh. Sudan. I know we've not talked about this before. But she's not. Not in my life. Although she knows the address to this house. She's never been here before. She never will. Never. Why, why did you say never? Well, that's because she has a partner she's dedicated to. The guy means everything to her. Although they are not married, but she would never step her foot in this house. Is there any time you wished you were with her? Yes. So many times. So many times I wished she was always around me. 
it would have been a lot easier for me raising Elizabeth up. Well, sweetheart, why the sudden interest? I've had bad experience in the past. I don't want the same thing to happen again. Just trying to be careful. Babe, you are the only man who comes into this house. The only man. <clears throat> um, oh, hey guys, the food is getting cold. Let's go eat. All right. <clears throat> <laughs> Come in. What is it? Um there's something I didn't tell you because I felt it wasn't the right time. But this is the right time. Please sit. So, um, I plan to work with you for just one month. And that one month has come to an end. So, are you leaving? Yes, I am. I'm a biochemist, apart from my master's in marketing. I hardly have time for my dad, so I decided to come spend some time with him and to work with you as well. My leave is for four weeks and four days, and I should be gone in three weeks. I'm so used to you. <laughs> you know, you have my dad now. He has some people managing some of his businesses. That's because he wanted to tour the world. But since he has not started touring, he can always come around if you want him to. Besides, we've made some money now, so we can hire some staff. Yes, we have. Oh, thanks to you. Oh, no, thanks to us. You know, the marketing package that I developed We'll help you in every way. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Are you happy with my dad? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's been a few weeks we, we've been together, but it feels like I have known him all my life. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Thank you. So, I would like to make you a scent for dinner tonight. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I need to step out to buy a few things. I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh. My job is done. Cross it off. Yeah. Like, cross to this. Yes, yes. Yep. So then you had fun. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> as if we. <laughs> it's like. Hey, sugar. Ah, sweetheart. Ah, lunch is served. Are you done? Thank you
Thank you. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, I'm getting used to it. Yes, I'm equally getting used to it too. <laughs> Um, oh, someone is no, there. No, no, I'll, I'll just check the door. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carl, did you take him? Uh, well, I would <laughs> Mom! Eddie, good to see you. I'll, I'll just get my back and leave. Miss Nora. <coughs> Miss Nora. Heidi. Miss Nora. Uh, uh, good to see you. A lot of things has happened. I needed to see you. Miss Nora. Miss Nora. Mom, what are you doing here? Don't look at me. Um, <coughs> listen, nothing is happening between my dad and my mom. Yet you're the one in front of me and not him. Why did you leave the way you left? Elizabeth, we just talked about your mom. You and your dad told me that she would never step her foot into your house again. Look. I have no idea as to why she came. I am seriously in shock. I saw the look on your dad's face. He was so concerned for her. Look, my mom is so manipulative. But my dad is not stupid. She may have gotten his attention at that moment, but that's it. Elizabeth, I know exactly what you're trying to do, but trust me, it's not going to work. I will not let myself to experience such thing again. What are you talking about? I was supposed to marry a divorcee. From nowhere his ex-wife and son showed up. And that was how we didn't talk about the marriage thing. The whole marriage talk, everything about it ended. But it's not the same thing. I thought I was about to die. I was heartbroken. I will not let such to happen again. Shut the door behind you. Excuse me. Roland treated me so bad, but I took it because I felt it was a price I had to pay for not being there when you needed me. I've not even been there for my daughter, Elizabeth. I feel so, so ashamed of myself. <clears throat> Mom, I ask again, what? are you doing here? What sort of question is that? I came to see Edward. I didn't even know you were here. Oh, well, I am. What are you doing here, Mom? I can see your suitcase. Are you passing by? Elizabeth, do you realize that this is not your house? Oh, of course. It is my father's house. And I have every right to walk you out of this house if you do not tell me what you're doing here. What? Mom. What are you doing here? Tell me. Dad came to you so many times for you to be a part of my life. But you never showed up. He wanted you to have that relationship with us. But mom, what did you do? You shut him down. 
Now that he has found someone, you walk in here with your teary eyes and your suitcase? Oh, is all this because of that lady? Mom, listen. You know it's only that that you can manipulate. You have between now and tomorrow to leave this house. Eddie? Will you let her talk to me like that? Hold on. Edward, what are you doing here? I just want to let you know that you've got my emotions. Attention. They try to stop me, but I'm not giving up on you, on you, you. It's never too late to find love, it's never too late to find love, oh. I just want you to brace up, I just want you to brace up. This time keep it rolling, listen to your heartbeat, follow the path to find love. It's never too late to find love It's never too late to find love oh, oh, oh. It's never too late to find love Never too late It's never too late to find love Just follow your heart It's never too late to find love Never, never Good morning Never, never It's never too late to find love Good morning. Nora. I've got nothing to do with her. Mm -hmm. You had to sleep over just to tell me that. No. I don't know what you might have gone through in the past. I'm not that kind of guy. I am not. No. Are you coming over to the house so that uh, we start from where we stopped? I, I don't know. I have so much fear in me. I, I just want to be left alone. Just want to be here, please. Mom, I said you must leave this house. Elizabeth, I am not going anywhere. anywhere. I, I told said you must. I am not leaving. I am waiting you for my husband. You have overstayed your welcome. Come and drag leave me this out. House. Come and drag me out. Mom, you Elizabeth. have rested enough. 
I said I'm waiting for your father. Didn't you hear when I said that? You're waiting for my father? Yes. Oh, because you think he will let you stay one more day in this house? <laughs> oh, mom, you've been gone for long. Elizabeth, I am trying to reconnect with you and your father. Because it didn't work out between you and Roland? And you're getting old. You've looked around. My dad is the one man that if he's committed, there's no looking back. It is, this is not just about your father. It's about you too, my daughter. Can't you see? Mom, you know what, yeah? You're used to getting what you want, however you want it. But this time, it is not working! Good morning. I was waiting for you. Waiting for me for what? Uh, for what? What do you want me to do for you? Huh? What do you want from me? Huh? You want money? Money? I don't need your money. You know I have my own money. I don't need okay, your money. Okay, if you don't need my money, then say, get out from my house. Get out from my house. I don't need you in this house. Edward? Don't give me that Edward bullshit. Okay. You heard him, right? Go in there, pack your things, and leave this house! Elizabeth. Did you not hear him? Go in there, pack your things, and leave this house. Oh, okay. You... I'm gonna help you, okay? Chill. Let me go in, pack your things. Just hold on. You're leaving this house now! Elizabeth! Elizabeth, please, I need time for myself. Um, okay then, I'm going to make it quick. Two things. Firstly, my father is an amazing man. And I know that you know he's an amazing man. I'm not trying to package him for you to value him. If he moves on, you miss something good. My father cares so much about you, and all he wants in return is for you to care about him also, and to stand by him. Please, do not judge this situation with your past. Secondly, I will leave tomorrow at 8 a.m. If I see you, I will be happy. I will know that despite your fears, you care about us as much as we care about you. If not, I just want to wish you all the best with the company and good luck. Thank you. I just want to let you know that you've got my emotions Attention They try to stop me but I'm not giving up on you On you, you It's never too late to find love It's never too late to find love Oh, I just want you to brace up I just want you to brace up 
This time keep it rolling Listen to your heartbeat Follow the path to find love It's never too late to find love It's never too late to find love Oh, oh, oh. It's never too late to find love Never too late It's never too late to find love Just follow your heart It's never too late to find love Never 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 It's never too late to find love It's been four weeks and four days Been thinking about you Don't know what to do it's been four days and four weeks Thinking about you Don't know what to do When the clock ticks Talk You may feel like you're wasted When the rain's falling down, down, down You may feel like you're drowning Oh Good morning. Well, you ready? I'll drive you to the airport, okay? Daddy, please be okay. Oh, baby. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Only, I wish you had stayed some more. Daddy, I had four weeks and four days. This That's is true. it. That's true. That's true. It went by so fast. Yeah, yes. I know. But I don't mind. I don't mind. Come on, let's go. My sweetheart, let's go. Nora! Please wait. I'm sorry I'm 15 minutes late. It's okay. At least you're here. I want you to say it so that Elizabeth will be a witness. I don't care who comes into this house. You're not leaving me. You're not breaking my heart. Am I crazy? You need to know for how long I've been watching. <clears throat> Stalking is a sin. Oh. What's going on here? <laughs> Nothing. Sorry, sorry. It's all right, it's okay, Nora. I seriously need you to make this commitment to me. Oh. Nora. I love you so much. Sweetheart. I love you so much, it can never be matched. Believe me, there wouldn't be anyone else, no one else but you. Hmm? Me too. Hmm. I just want to love and be loved. I don't want to love any other person except you. I know it's a short time we met, but the truth is that I have fallen in love with you. I love you more than you can ever imagine. Oh, baby. I just want to feel loved. I'll always be there for you. Always. <clears throat> um, Daddy, um, I can't stand here and watch you guys do this thing. <laughs> um, I have to be on my way to the airport. When the no, we are going with you, though. Oh, we definitely. are going with you. We are going with you. Come like like on, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> 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 when the rain's falling down, 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 you may feel like you're drowning. Oh, all along it was you. Waiting for a chance to express yourself 
da 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 All along it was you Waiting for a chance To express yourself Now you've got the chance But you keep waiting You keep waiting Please stop waiting Stop waiting It's never too late to find love It's never too late to find love Oh, I just want you to brace up I just want you to brace up This time keep it rolling Listen to your heartbeat Follow the path to find love 